From 419 million to 358 million years ago, the Devonian period existed. It was the Paleozoic era's fourth phase. The Silurian period came before it, while the Carboniferous period came after it. Although key events in the development of plants, the earliest insects, and other creatures occurred during this period, it is commonly referred to as the Age of Fishes. Starting with the climate and geography of the period, although Gondwana began major northerly migration during the Devonian period, it inhabited much of the southern hemisphere. By the late Permian period, this drift had collided with the tropical continent Euramerica, resulting in the formation of Pangaea. The Caledonian orogeny, which saw Euramerica collide with the smaller northern continent of Siberia, proceeded to construct mountains in what would become Great Britain, the Northern Appalachians, and the Nordic Mountains. Large volumes of silt were deposited in lowlands and shallow ocean basins as a result of rapid erosion of these mountains. With much of western North America underwater, sea levels were high. During the Devonian period, the climate in the continental interior areas was hot and dry. Next, diving into the marine life, this period was popularly known for its broad reef which was in creation in the shallow waters that separated the continent of Gondwana and Euramerica and surrounded other continents. This extensive reef system was composed of several types of brachiopods, trilobites and horn corals. Fishes with cartilaginous like sharks and rays were a common sight by the later part of the era. This period also contained ammonite fossils. In later studies, evidence of fossils of new group of fishes with true bones, teeth, gills and swim bladders was also found. These fossils also suggest that like the fishes in our modern period, back then in the Devonian era pelvic and pectoral fins were supported by several long and lean bones within the trunk as well. Placoderms, armored fishes, evolved as the dominating marine predators after extensive diversity. They lacked real teeth and had rudimentary jaws. Instead, they had bony features in their jaws that were employed to crush or shear prey. Placoderms might grow to be 33 feet, that is 10 meters long. During this period, lobe-finned fish were more numerous than ray fins, but they essentially died out. Today, only the coelacanth and a few species of lungfish have lobe-finned fins. Lobe-finned fishes possessed fleshy pectoral and pelvic fins that articulated with the shoulder or pelvis via a single bone, either humerus or femur, driven by muscles within the fin. Some creatures have spiracles in their skulls that allow them to breathe. All tetrapods are thought to have descended from lobe-finned fishes. The era was also marked by rich progress in flora. During the Devonian period, plants that had begun populating the land during the Silurian period continued to evolve. Lycophytes, horsetails, and ferns grew to enormous proportions and produced the first woods on Earth. Progymnosperms like Archaeopteris were the first successful trees towards the end of the Devonian. Archaeopteris may reach a height of 98 feet 30 meters, and a trunk diameter of over 3 feet, almost 1 meter. It had a softwood trunk that developed in successive rings, similar to contemporary conifers. It didn't have actual leaves, but rather fern-like structures that were attached to the branches directly, lacking the stems of true leaves. The most abundant fossils are shed branches, indicating that they were deciduous. Male and female spores, which are thought to be the ancestors to seed-bearing plants, were used for reproduction. The expansion of plants raised the oxygen concentration of the atmosphere significantly by the end of the Devonian period, which was critical for the evolution of terrestrial creatures. Carbon dioxide, CO2, a greenhouse gas, was depleted from previous levels at the same period. This might have had a role in the Devonian extinction catastrophe, as well as the decreasing temperature. Next, we move on to the fauna of the period. Arthropod fossils are found alongside the Silurians, first plant fossils. During the Devonian period, millipedes, centipedes, and arachnids continued to diversify. Rhinella priacusa, the first known insect, was a flightless hexapod with antennae and a segmented body. 
Rhinella fossils date back between 412 and 391 million years ago. Early tetrapods are thought to have developed from lobe-finned fish that could utilize their muscular fins to exploit the predator-free and food-rich environment of emerging wetland environments. Tiktolik rosy is the oldest known tetrapod. This fossil species, which dates from the mid-Devonian, is thought to be the connection between lobe-finned fishes and early amphibians. Tiktolik was likely an aquatic creature who walked on the bottom of shallow water estuaries. It possessed a fish-like pelvic, but its back limbs were bigger and stronger than its front limbs, indicating that it could move about outside of water. It possessed a crocodile-like head, a moving neck, and breathing nostrils. The end of the Devonian period is regarded as the second of the Earth's Big Five catastrophic extinctions. It is known that there were at least two protracted events of species loss and multiple shorter phases, rather than a single event. The late Devonian Kelwasser event was primarily responsible for the extinction of vast coral reefs, jawless fishes, and trilobites. Placoderms and most early ammonites were wiped off by the Hangeberg event, at the Devonian or Carboniferous boundary. The causes of the extinction are unknown, however they may be linked to the cooling climate induced by carbon dioxide depletion from the earliest forests. Despite the disappearance of up to 70% of invertebrate species, terrestrial plants and animals were mostly untouched. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.